President of, of the Hunter, all over the world, uh, governments are being told that the, the best and most efficient and safe way to move large groups of people is by heavy rail. We'd be one of the few countries in the world that they're looking at ripping it up. Shame, very shame. 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 When you look at what's unfolding in Newcastle at the moment, it's uh, it's a marvellous effort on behalf of a lot of people that the CPD is being rejuvenated. There is a lot of housing going in there. As the housing goes in, the mall will recover. As the mall recovers, there'll be a lot of people around. Why would anyone on God's green earth rip up one of the best railway stations and one of the handiest railway tracks on the eastern seaboard. Shame, Barry, shame. Our union will stand shoulder to shoulder with the people of Newcastle and the Hunter and with the ALP, who I'm proud to say are well represented here today. We will stand shoulder to shoulder and we will fight for as long as it takes to stop this stupidity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Gary. Now, we have as well the Teachers' Federation. Do we have a spokesperson who can come and yeah. say a few words? Wayne, for the... Wayne. Wayne. Wayne, I know quite well. I've been on executive with Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Hi, this is Wayne Weber from the New South Wales Teachers' Federation. Thanks, Joe. And thanks, everyone, for making the trek down from Newcastle today. And it's glad to see the train was on time, as they may usually are. I was born and bred at Royal Newcastle Hospital. I uh, have an affinity with Newcastle very well. And our union, the Teachers' Federation, fought when Nick Greiner and uh, Wal Murray first proposed this in the 80s, when the Labor government proposed it in, again in 2003 and 2009. On each of those occasions, this move was wrong, just as plainly as it's wrong today. And our union will stand with the community of Newcastle and everybody else who's fighting to retain the railway line into Newcastle and for better public services and public transport in the Hunter area. What this government is doing, it's not just the Newcastle rail line, they are withdrawing from the business of being in government. They are divesting themselves of public assets, they are making uh, public assets less and less user friendly, they are cutting and cutting so that they can hand over val these valuable assets to their uh, to their big backers in the New South Wales Business Chamber and the like, and uh, we as a community can't let that happen. You know, if uh, the government won't change its mind, we've got to do something about this government. Thank you, one and all, and we're with you all the way. Thank you so much, Wayne.